In the not-so-distant future, a group of innovative scientists embarked on a groundbreaking project, reanimating spider corpses for research. This unusual and daring venture aimed to unlock the mysteries of arachnid biology, potentially revolutionizing various scientific fields. The story begins in a state-of-the-art laboratory nestled in a remote valley, surrounded by dense forests and rugged mountains. Here, a team of biologists, geneticists, and engineers, led by Dr. Elena Mirov, an expert in arachnid physiology, congregates. Their mission is ambitious yet fraught with unknowns bring deceased spiders back to a semblance of life to study their unique biological processes. Dr. Mirov's team had discovered that spiders, even in death, retained certain cellular mechanisms that could be reactivated. By stimulating these cells with a combination of electrical impulses and a specially formulated serum, they could temporarily reanimate these spiders. This groundbreaking technique promised insights into spider venom's composition, web silk properties, even their extraordinary limb coordination and sensory perception. One night, as a thunderstorm raged outside, the team prepared for their most significant experiment yet. They had chosen a particularly large and well-preserved specimen of the Goliath bird eater, the world's largest spider. The lab buzzed with nervous excitement as Dr. Mirov initiated the reanimation process. Lightning crackled outside, almost in sync with the surge of electricity that coursed through the spider's body. To the team's amazement, the spider twitched, its legs moving with eerie precision. The scientists observed in awe as the spider began to exhibit behaviors it would have shown in life, spinning delicate strands of silk, reacting to stimuli, and even feeding when presented with a nutrient solution. But the experiment took an unexpected turn when the spider began to display uncharacteristic behaviors. It started spinning a type of silk never seen before, stronger and more resilient. As the team scrambled to understand this phenomenon, Dr. Mirov theorized that their reanimation process had altered the spider's silk-producing glands, creating a new form of silk with incredible potential applications. The discovery sparked a frenzy of research and innovation. Companies and governments were interested in the super silk, envisioning its use in everything from medical sutures to bulletproof vests. The team found themselves at the forefront of a scientific revolution, with Dr. Mirov hailed as a pioneer in his field. However, the success was not without its ethical dilemmas. The reanimation process, while not bringing the spiders back to life in the truest sense, raised questions about the boundaries of scientific exploration and the manipulation of life and death. In the end, the project opened doors to a new era of biological research, blurring the lines between life and death and showing that even in the most unlikely of subjects, there are wonders waiting to be discovered. The reanimated spiders, once merely lifeless husks, had become keys to unlocking secrets of the natural world leaving a lasting impact on science and humanity.